Greetings, everybody. This is Up Blue. How do you do? Bring you a quick little tutorial. Have you ever been like me in this traveling the world, the Twilight Forest, looking around for the next Hollow Hill investment? And while traveling, we suddenly realize something. Your jetpack is out of power. Your Vajra is nearly gone as well. You have no clue what to do. Why not do what I do? Take it off, open my pouch of charging, and just toss them in. Well, for the jetpacks, I'll just grab a spare. But in just a moment, I'll be able to grab my Vajra fully charged. How you may say, it is quite simple. You have to wait just a moment. Actually, a minute to send two things over at once, but that is not the point. And there it is, my friends. How does it do it? How do I recharge my tools from a distance at any charge level? That will be me showing you right now. This, my friend, is my little invention. I've seen, I've heard ideas of this before, but never one done like this. Here's my inner pouch. Hooked up to a manager with everything I want to have inside, fully charged. With me make, making two Vajras, which is a pain, even in Dire Wolf Pack. But it is quite simple. When something is not allowed in this chest, aka a Vajra or a jetpack or anything else that uses electricity, or IC2 EU power, it pulls it out. I'll always serve some black. But yes. Uh, so, I put what I want in here. If it doesn't belong in this chest, it pumps out into here. The filter pulls it out. Oh. Do that backwards. The manager pulls it out through the pipe because the filter only pulls out of that into the buffer, which is the relay. So I send more than one thing at once, like it is the jetpack. Jetpack went first into the relay, then the Vajra to charge. So when the jetpack is done, it goes into MFSU or whatever size uh, power storage device you wish to, wish to use. Then I had to set them for 30 seconds. This will pull it out. Because 30 seconds would make the Vajra community go around twice. Anyway, it will pull it out and back it through the manager into the ender chest. So at any and all times, I have a jetpack. Now let me show you how it's built. And we are back, my friends. I'm going to give a quick rundown of what it takes to build one of these uh, recharge bags. Your first thing you're gonna need. Yeah. Creative wine buy. Why are jetpacks more reliable than creative? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, first thing you need. Ender chest, we need to pick your colors. To build these new ender chests, it's quite simple. There's four blaze rods, two obsidian, wool, chest, and an ender pearl. Nice. And the most important thing that makes this all work, the manager. It's a little bit of a complex block. It is the tier three 
item sword system in red power 2. Let's see how it's built. It requires two iron, two red dot, red dot white wafer, red dot, and two piece of wood and planks, and a blue alley ingot, which is made by putting nickelite in an alloy furnace, which is made of uh, bricks. Next. Then it takes a regulator and a sorting machine to finish the manager. The regulator here is another one of those complex moving blocks where we put it in stream. I don't really know too much about it. Actually, I'm going to use it really. Anyway, it is made by <laughs> two brass, two buffers, two red dopped rafers, and two more oak planks. And now the item detector will emit a signal as items pass through a system, which is made by two pneumatic tubes, a pressure pad, two more red dopped wafers, two brass, and two oaks. And the buffer is that exactly what it sounds. You put it on, on top of one of these sewing machines so items can be uh, sucked into that and not left in the tubes and buffered. And that's just made with four iron bars and four oak planks. The sorting machine is another complex block. It's meant to be pull things out of chest or in line with uh, pneumatic tubing. So items that you can take go through it and be painted with this painting feature. Well, that is made with five iron, two dopped wafers, an it, and a filter. I do not have a I'm like this next to it because the next thing in our machine is the filter, the item that pulls every 30 seconds. Actually, I could probably use a sorting machine to do the same thing as that, but no, thank you. That means I'd have to build a third set of items to put in the sorting machine, to pull it out, to put in the manager. That does not sound pleasant. Oops. But possible. I'll look into that later. And the filter, which has no, it does have a GUI. You put an item in here and it only pulls that item. I think. Every time it receives a redstone signal, which is four cobblestone, two gold, our favorite block, the piston. And a red dot way first. Pistons are used predominantly in red power two <laughs> and feed the beast. I have, uh, I have countless stacks of those because I keep using them. And then the relay, which is the item that goes on top of the MFSU or whatever power supply you choose to be the buffer and automatically pulse when there is a space. That's the reason relays exist. So they auto post when items come in and there's space that it can go to. And the buffer does it passively. It needs to be pulled from. And that is made with a buffer and a transposer, which takes in four more wood, two more cobble, and another top wafer. Those things become your best friends now. This right here is the transposer. Transposer picks up any block dropped onto it. And then pumps it out. Hey, you hear that click? It's me throwing it if I'm in creative and that doesn't work out very well. That's just made with pistons, five cobble, two oak, and a redstone. I'm not gonna tell the recipe for the MFSU because in Feed the Beast, the Darwolf pack and the Minecraft pack have different uh, MFSU patterns, so you can work on worry about your own IC2 power. Pneumatic tubing, brass and glass, timer. It's a little bit complex, and these stone wafers are made by smelting stone, and these stone wires are made by putting redstone wire. I should have made all the little components, but I didn't feel like making this wall a mile long. 
This is a stone, torch, wafer. It's just, everything is exactly see. That is a triangle of redstone and a layer of stone wafers. You get three per for those. Redstone torch on top of a stone wafer. Pretty logical. And it's pretty much exactly what you see right on the board. Which is one reason I really like IC2. It's really cool. And this, to make this whole system run at a distance, you need some sort of chunk loader. Which is an ender pearl, five gold, and an enchantment table. Oh, yes. If you want to build an enchantment table, welcome to Minecraft. And check it up in the NEI. Everything you can find here can be easily found in NEI. Just by typing it in. Now let's get building. Greens once again. This is the basics of blue electricity, which is I mean, the blue the blue alloy wire to transfer electricity, which is blue alloy, which is nickelite. Furnace, wool, and six wool. This little guy. Blue dot wafers. Blue alloy and blue alloy and blue alloy ingots. And a bat box, which is made out of DT batteries, iron, blue blue alloy, and oak. And BT batteries. Are simply made of nickelite, copper, tin, and copper. Nice and simple. Uh, just grab me a little bit of that. All right. Get that all the uh, micro blocks, which Reddit Power uses extensively, turn into a weird thing because they're all derivative numbers, they all have damage values. These things slow charge lather slowly. So I'll be back in just a moment. And alright, before I forget, the managers, they require power. Blue electric power. You, you need blue wild well, cables cables. Blue dopped wafers. Solar panels that are blue dopped wafers and blue alloy and a bat box which is BT batteries, three iron, blue alloy, alloy and a plank which is pretty much what you see on the side. I don't know, see this little bar right here? It is actually a nifty little display but it's showing how much is stored in the bat box. Now my friends Let's get building. It's quite simple. I do put your manager down, your chest, Oops. something in that already. Actually, your filter and your relay. Put that all together with your pneumatic matic tubes here, like so. And don't forget, you need to set your manager. Then you have your full your jetpacks. Oh, I guess those weren't fully charged.
Who were they? Oh, right. And do not forget the ever important timer. back in. I guess they were nearly full. Now if I put in one of these uncharged jetpacks, you see the manager just pull it right out. And don't make me a liar, please. doing that. Ooh. In this mode, it only allowed to have one electric jetpack in there. I think they're all coming back. And that would be the one that needs to be charged. Yes, it was. I saw this going on for two second intervals. Remember, things take time to charge. And there it goes. Managers are a little bit of a confusing block, but once you get the hang of them, they're highly useful in keeping an inventory full of what you need. And thank you for stopping by. I will see you next time. Again, this is Old Blue. How do you do? Br brought who brought you the charger backpack? Oh, forgot the backpack portion. Oh, silly me. You never know we're gonna need it. Kind of missed the key part there. I'll see you next time. Thank you.